Hello and welcome to Let's Play Kirby Superstar Part 13. <laughs> meta Knight, more like Meta Shite. Uh, we're the time shitters Jack's playing at the moment. And indeed, now that bomb, you need the yo-yo for it, so make sure you get it earlier in the in the level, or you can't get in there. And here we get some bonus dialogue. Bonus dialogue. Oh no, those are my hidden tomatoes. You idiot, you hit those, they look delicious. There we are, bonus dialogue. I love someone being called an idiot for hiding tomatoes. I think, you know, if you're going to hide anything in, in the Kirby universe, tomatoes are a pretty good thing to hide since yeah. they completely restore your health. So do you get all this bonus dialogue in the playthrough? Yeah, I don't think I miss a trick. Excellent. I think that was the last of the bonus stuff anyway. Everything else is just completely linear. Anyway, this is an interesting little boss. The target is that glowing colourful diamond thing. You basically want to hit that with those lasers. Jim seems to be having a fit. Yeah, I, I just thought like he was directing the laser away from where I wanted it to strike. Watch yeah. out for that cannon. Again, destroying that cannon part is completely optional. You don't need to do it at all. Yeah. It's just there to add a obstacle to the game. I like the wheels and the things going absolutely ape shit in the background. They look quite sinister, but they're powering the ship. Yeah. They're the energy source. So yeah, that's the idea. You use the lasers, like the security lasers, and aim them directly up the, uh, the old core there. And there's no other way to damage it. You can't use any abilities at all. This is a bit of a trick boss. Everything else is completely destructible. Like, even the uh, even the lasers themselves can be destroyed, they just regenerate. Yeah, not that you want to, of course. But... Not that you want to, like, especially since you're against the clock. I mean, as I said, you're very, very generous with time. But if you want to speedrun it, or I don't know if you've been having a pretty bad run for whatever reason, like you go to the toilet half through a level and you get back and you've got, oh, I've only got a minute left. You don't want to be killing the laser. <sighs> anyway, it's pretty forgiving in that I won't fire until it's been still for a while, so uh, I keep this for quite a long time. And boom! What's the satisfying explosion noise? And uh, the wheelies can detect that since the reactor's gone, that the ship's going to come crashing down, so they, they get to safety. So we're going to go straight into the middle. Fearless, Kirby. Fearless. We're losing power, the ship's coming, it's crashing down, but no, no, no. Kirby could just leave them into shame. Could just leave them, could just leave them, just go home, you know, the ship's down. I just thought I'd leave it like that, because I'm happy with this ship. <laughs> I mean, I've not shown it in the video so far, because it doesn't come up very often, but you can make him look like a Golden Mario statue. Oh yeah, yeah, I know of this. But I, I, I don't know, I don't think it occurs that often. <clears throat> and I can't actually get through there without uh, sacrificing my stone ability, so I do so here. But, you know, as I said, like, Kirby could have gone, like, the whole invasion attempt has just been thought of the halberds going down for the count. But no, no, I'm, I'm going to make sure that they all die. <laughs> I just noticed Meta Knight, that, that last picture of Meta Knight, it was all, like, flame in the background, they looked badass. Yeah. It's him with his, when he's got his eyes. Well, in terms of, like, baddies, like, Meta Knight seems to be one of the few baddies with any kind of human brain or any sort of... He's not just a complete mad evil guy, he's, 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 he's power hungry. Yeah. He's completely rational, like, the DD's just a greedy clown. He is an idiot. And Marx is just hell-bent on evil, basically. But Meta Knight just seems like yeah, the average sort of uh, self-serving... self-serving villain. Yeah. Anyway, this is like your biggest sort of run of these uh, Meta Knights. These are, this is their last stand, basically. Yeah. But the stone ability comes in really handy here because it pretty much dispatches them in one or two hits. This guy goes an extra round, but he's gone. So they're, they're, they've been completely humiliated, so hmm. I'm off for the final showdown with Meta Knight. And is Meta Knight going to do his uh, trademark thing of giving you a sword? He is indeed. So all these abilities are fairly useless. Thump, thump. Well, you need to at least pick up the sword first. I think you can reject the offer, actually, but I like to fight him with the sword anyway. It's plenty useful. Now, the thing I don't uh, enjoy about this is that you can't really stun him at all. <laughs> yeah. Like, no matter how much you hit him, he just keeps on coming at you. I hate bosses like that. It sort of removes a lot of the skill element. But... He didn't last very long. No, you... Why don't you see him without his mask on? Oh, God, yeah, you get to 
set the internet on fire by... Ooh, is, is Meta Knight like Kirby's dad or something? I didn't know you ever saw him without his mask on. Oh, you do? Anyway, this is the dramatic escape from the crashing ship section. Instead of uh, a proper stopwatch time, you get 40 seconds to... Whilst getting harassed by Meta Knight. Yeah, and you can't do anything about uh, Meta Knight at all, like he's invincible. And uh, still can't be stunned, presumably. Can't be stunned, nothing he does can be prevented. And sometimes you can barely dodge him, like it's just a case of don't let him delay you too much. Yeah. But this is pretty... pretty it's pretty tight, I mean, like you, you don't get a lot of time. That jump there is probably the only time you can really die or hear, like those pits, but... Yeah. I, you know, I, I make it in plenty of time, five seconds. And this is a very Mega Man ending. Looking over the cliff. It's quite Gaiden as well. It's very Gaiden. Although, it's quite hard to see the end of Gaiden games. <laughs> um, oh, indeed. So, Meta Knight's uh, attempt to invade Dreamland has been thwarted. And these credits are just uh, a summary of all the powers that are available, the enemies that represent them, the helpers. Yeah. Of course, uh, disclaimer, the one-use abilities don't appear here. But uh, there's a pretty cool image of Kirby using a hammer which is coming up, which I think you'll agree is pretty badass when it comes. <laughs> I'm up for it. I like how Kirby is going over these tiny bumps. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so satisfying. Bump, bump. I do. Bump. Oh, he's asleep there. Bless him. But I'm, I'm waiting for it because you'll agree the hammer image is pretty good. Yeah. Can't go with a plasma wisp. That's a good little picture. Yeah. But nothing compared to the hammer. That's still pretty cool. A little slipstream. Yeah. And there's the copy ability. Both of these looking pretty neat edish there. There we go. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh. That was worth the uh, worth the build up for that, I think. Yeah. Alright, well, is that that's Revenge of Meta Knight done? That's done and we unlock Milky Way Wishes. And do you know what? Why not let? Why, why not start it? Excellent. Well, uh... I mean, I say why not start it. It takes me a while to get going. <laughs> uh, I have this whole problem of I get into the game, we're about to start, but no, uh, we're still, we're still, we're still trying to get it all to work. No, not yet. Yeah. This time, yeah, we do. Now, in this game... So again, like, a lot of other <laughs> LPs may not include that. They may, You might be sat there going, Oh, but what happens if you keep egg and trying to start the game and then exiting again? Well, now you know. Now you know. You know how the game works. Now, um, this game is interesting because you can't copy abilities. Okay. Um, I mean, you can do for the one-use abilities. Like, I can still get those sleep guys. Yeah. Uh, Mike and Crash are all still fair game, but anything else just doesn't work. The, the way you get around it is you need to find the sort of master sort of deluxe. Do you know those uh, icons we've, we've seen where you touch them and you get the ability? Yeah. You need to find one of those, basically. The sort of trophy-esque. You need to find the sort of trophy-esque thing, and then you get to use that particular ability whenever you want to. You can use it again and again infinitely. And how do you activate it? Uh, you can cycle through them by pressing uh, one of the action buttons. That's really cool. Or you can go to a separate menu screen and choose it from there. See, I'd be up for a Kirby game like that, actually. Although it wouldn't really be a Kirby game in that regard, would it? No, it's very uh, non-canonical, but it's an interesting twist in the game. I mean, to be honest, like with so many games, it's eight in one, they say, uh, they need to come up with as many twists as they can on the old formula. Yeah. Racing against time, collecting treasure, the video... Uh... Anyway, uh, um... The thing is though, I momentarily forgot that there were things to collect in this game, so uh, I've not gone for any of them in this particular one of this level. What do you mean? Like I'm going, I'm going to come back to this level and, and get some of them. Are we talking like treasure equipment collectibles, or? Uh, well. Or do you mean power ups? Power ups. Oh, okay. Like, I'm going to admit to you now, um, I didn't have the patience to get them all. Um, all right. As you well know, uh, I got I got all the ones I really wanted to get. I, I tried to show off a few of them, but. To be honest, I didn't see the need. And I'll, I'll show you a pretty good secret anyway, so... Well, that, that's to come. I look forward to it. But uh, you'll notice that each of the levels has a name. They're all, they're all planets, as, as such. Kirby's in space, he's travelling the galaxy to uh, 
Anyway, I haven't, I haven't even told you the plot of this game. Uh, the Sun and Moon are fighting. Okay. And uh, a guy, a guy dressed like a clown. See, that's the uh, equip screen. Yeah. A guy called Marx suggests uh, appeasing, trying to trying to appease this giant mechanical space being called Nova, who will somehow use his vast infinite power to rectify the situation. Mm -hmm. But in order to do so, I need to uh, visit all these planets and gather enough power for him to wake up, basically, because I think he's a giant living computer or something. That's how he comes across. But anyway. All right. So okay. So we're trying to. Um, I'm traveling through space and time to save my home. Through time. Well, no, just just through space. I'm traveling through space to. Uh, <laughs> shush. So this is a repeat of the chameleon arm uh, boss. And I think I try and show off the paint ability that you can use here, just so it's it's been done. So he goes invisible. I mean, you can still kind of guess what he's doing. No, I don't do it there. But you can just see him. You can just see his moves, can't you? Yeah. To be honest, you won't have too much trouble dealing with him. I mean, he hasn't got that many attacks. He's got a swallow move, and he he goes down. He fires his tail at you. That's basically all he does. Yeah. So um, I'm kind of I'm kind of delaying things here because I want him to go invisible again, just so I can show how it works. Yeah. No fair play. Good call. I just think uh, if I'm not going to get all the abilities, I might as well show off something very. Interesting and obtuse about the game. Hmm. So until we actually get to the final bosses in the game, all the bosses for the levels are just sort of the like best hits of all the bosses in the game up to up to now. Yeah, definitely. Spring Breeze. I, I think we fight Dinner Blade as well. I'm not oh, sure. Yeah. So would you call this game? We. I mean, which you would you say is the hardest game on the pack? Ooh. Um. I'll, I'll actually say this one's pretty challenging. I mean, because that first opening level, it didn't seem to be taking many prisoners, like, it seems to have thrown you in the deep end with those lava jumps and stuff. Yeah, I mean, in terms of the fact that you can't just grab any power you want, um, it, it's a bit, uh, now this is a really obtuse comparison, but in the last disc of Final Fantasy VIII for the PlayStation, you lose all your menu commands, including the ability to save. Uh, you can't use it. I think the only thing you can do is use an attack. Right, okay. Given that... You need to use summons magic. Mm. You can't even resurrect. Like resurrect and using magic are separate skills. So you have to explore this massive castle and uh, and earn all these things back. And yeah, yeah, you're, you're a fish out of water to begin with, but then you gradually earn them all. That's what this game's like. Too. Okay, uh, and we'll talk about that more in uh, part fourteen. See you then. See you then.